okay so in the last part we saw that how we can add a taxonomy with a list fine using that particular module now in that particular taxonomy of the list of countries the idea was to select only one and we did not want any user to update that list but what if you wanted a list that would be updated by user so let's first create a taxonomy and that taxonomy would be our let us say animals list of animals fine so let's save this now i will add one term to this cat and let's save this now i have a taxonomy for animals you can see the terms over here which is only one term i want this taxonomy to be used as a free tagging case so now in this case what we are going to do is we will go to first of all let's first go back to our site and for this learning drupal the book content type we will try it on this so let's go to the structure content type book in and let's manage the fields here let's create another field just like we had added for taxonomy last time here again we will have a reference to taxonomy term animal name or since i'm going to use multiple of them animal names let's do it here we will keep it as unlimited we will save the field settings and here reference method default this is important create reference entities and the vocabulary which we want to use fine we will save this setting now this field is added now let's have a look at what happens is when we edit our content now if i edit this learning drupal one which we had created so now we have name of animal i can add cat cat is already there fine so that i can use now here the way it is being represented it does not allows me the comma separated values so i'll have to say add another term that is say dog and let me save this so once i save this fine and let me reload this fine that was the previous testing part so now i have a cat and dog the one which we had added and in learning drupal this is showing up one after the another but this particular one mechanism of adding does not looks very interesting right add one term add one term this may not be suitable or interesting to many people or not commonly seen everywhere so what we'll do is we will go back to the content type structure for book info and here let us go to manage form display how the form is getting displayed if you remember in the previous one we had set country of origin to autocomplete drop down and so many other things we had seen so here in instead of autocomplete we will change it to autocomplete tag style fine so what it does it it allows you to autocomplete and put the comma separated values also fine here you can change that starts with contains or some so let's preferably keep it to start with number of results we can increase it to say 100 text field width and so on let's update this and save this now what is going to happen is if we edit our book again if we edit this book again here you will see it has changed to autocomplete tagging so here if i do this character it will show up let us say horse line and save this fine now this has been added and if we go back to our vocabulary we will see that that vocabulary gets updated over here now one thing you need to keep in mind is that vocabulary in itself does not restrict that it can be updated or not the restriction is maintained by your content type so if you are making a vocabulary for a specific content type allow it with this content type only 
because if you associate it with another content type and allow that content type to update it or be single type then it's going to mess up your things so keep that in mind and that is how you can create your vocabulary and taxonomy in drupal